My next point is about sharing gas in Europe. We know that some member states are more directly exposed than others to Russian gas. Situation is especially challenging for landlocked countries in Central Europe. But in the end, if you look at our single market with highly integrated supply chains, a disruption in one member state has a massive impact on all member states. So sharing gas is absolutely critical. Member states have already since five years an obligation under EU law to conclude solidarity agreements with their neighbours in the region uh, where they are uh, located. However, if you look at what has been concluded so far, of 40 possible solidarity agreements, only six have been concluded. So this is simply not enough in times of a crisis like this one. And this is why we will put in place default rules for member states. These rules will be binding as long as member states do not conclude individual solidarity agreement. Energy solidarity is a fundamental principle of our treaties, so let's bring that to life. It's very simple. 